So since the second exams are coming up in a very short amount of time, I thought of making this small video about how to ace your second exams in just 20 days. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about both the paper presentation and how to pass your exams. So this will definitely help you out. And sorry for really squinting my eyes here. The sunlight is a little bit too bright. So anyways, first up we have pathology. I'm going to classify you people into two groups. People who read Robbins, people who have never touched Robbins. If you fall into this category, people who are already done with Robbins, it's going to be a cake walk for you. Just see all the important questions. Study those important questions from Robbins. That's all. You are getting a distinction without any doubt. People who have no idea about uh, pathology at all, you have to take a question bank. Mark all the important questions in Robbins and study. See, I'm going to ask everyone to read Robbins because Robbins is based out at work and also Robbins is super easy to study. It's like, it's like ABC. There's nothing more simpler than Robbins. Like the English is super easy. Everything is super easy. So just Robbins, Robbins, Robbins. Or else if you are a fan of Marrow, you can go with Marrow. You don't have to touch Robbins at all. You can just read Marrow. Marrow is fantabulous. You can complete Marrow. Just important questions, guys. Important question, important question, important question. I made this video about paper presentation. Definitely check out this video. This video is made specifically for first year students, but paper presentation is the same for everyone. So check out this video, it will definitely help you out. Well, so for pathology, draw diagrams are possible. See, assume, think of pathology as this happened. Spam diagrams, necrosal cell, spam a diagram. Anything, liver, liver function, spam a diagram. Liver cell, spam, everything spam diagrams will definitely help you out. Then coming up to pharmacology. See, pharmacology is very simple. You have to know the classification of drugs very, very properly. For every question, just write classification, PPI. Good classification. If they ask you to write out a septuaxone, start your answer with the entirety of the classification of septuaxone. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation. El Nave put it there. That's how you should start every single question. This will guarantee you a pass or a distinction or honors to whatever you want. So there is this amazing book. See, Kere Tripathi is a shitty book. That is my opinion. I'm sorry if I offered that to all the Kennedy lovers here. But I feel like Kennedy is shitty. But there is this amazing book, Classification of Drugs by Kere Tripathi. That is an amazing book. Definitely buy that book. Read every single page, it is going to help you a lot. So once you are done with classification, then for every single drug, study the mechanism of action, study the side effect, study the indications. It's very simple. Why do you have to do this? But the spider effect is the main side effect is gynecomastia. Super simple, super direct. Just remember this. What are the indications? What is the spinal lactin? What is the spinal lactin? Let me know the comments down below. And I mean, I'll listen to how. Let me know the comments down below. Okay, so on the number, it's very simple. So for a question, write classification of drugs, one mechanism action, two indications, two side effects, and if there are any contraindications, two contraindications. Morinjil. Then we have the final nightmare of everyone, microbiology. See, I personally love microbiology because it, it was like reading a personal biography. What does Streptococcus pneumonia do? What does Star Forest do? It is a wonderful uh, subject. So microbiology, if I never give enough, Study what are the various, for example, if they ask with streptococcus, write about the different types of streptococcus first. Then, write about the disease that causes. Write about the clinical manifestations of the disease. If a streptococcus is going to easy. It is spam, rheumatic uh, heart disease, you can just write about rheumatic fever. Write the mechanism of action. How does it work? Molecular mimicry, a high percentage reaction. Write it down. Write the mechanism of action. Then, write the treatment. What is the drug of choice? What are the adherent therapy? Simple, super easy, one mail, avarada, murinjit. So, microbiology is also super easy. So, pathology, diagrams, spam diagrams, put some flow chart, microbiology, draw some diagrams, write about the uh, drug of choice, clinical manifestations, a mode of uh, spread, the incubation period. Easy, the end of the thing, it's all about revision based because pharmacology and microbiology, let's face it, it's all memorization. So, only the option is that you have to memorize again and again, revise again and again. But at one point, it starts to become really like, it will come out in a flow. But if you have a liver pain, it will just come. Maybe by the second day, you second in the feel somewhat hard. But uh, in the future, it's definitely going to be super easy. You will automatically go, okay, NAP, glutathem. It will just automatically flow. And then the microbiology, pharmacology, and pathology are the very important subjects. They form the basis of medicine, guys. They literally form the basis. So, on the wonderful subjects. And uh, I hope this video is useful. If you want me to talk about a particular topic, John Doan in the comments down below. I am definitely, definitely making a video about every single comment this video gets. And here is a video about paper presentation. Definitely check it out. This is going to be super useful for you. So definitely check it out and I will meet you again.